Hey guys, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Comic Life 3, the Web 2.0 app that will let you create your own comics. To start off, you're going to want to go into Google and type in Comic Life 3. The first link that will come up is this link right here, a link to plask.com. After you click on that link, you'll want to go to Support, and then Downloads. Once you go to Downloads, you're going to want to find the version that suits you and your desktop. So for me, I'm going to click Windows will cut to when the download is finished. Okay, so once our download is finished, you're going to want to minimize and you want to go over to your desktop. Before it gets to your desktop, it's going to ask you to finish the download. And once you click finish, you will get this app right here, the Comic Life 3 app. Okay, so once you get the Comic Life 3 app, you want to click on it and this will open up. I have it preloaded up because it takes about 10 seconds to load up. Once this does load up though, it's going to ask you to put your email in to get notifications about Comic Life 3 as well as sign up. You can exit out of both of those as it is not needed to run the app. Okay, so now it's time for us to actually use Comic Life 3. So as you can see, we're in the template chooser. We can click on all and we have a lot of options here. This is kind of a huge selection, so we're going to click on scripts first. I'll just show you a sample of script. Script is just something that gives you the opportunity to write the story before you actually end up breaking the comic. So it lets you plan out what you're going to actually do, which is good for some people. For this tutorial though, we're going to be focusing on the comic side. There's eight subheadings in the comic section. We have blank, we have certificates, we have creative, we have education, how to, life stories, single panels, and classic. For now, we're going to focus on the certificate section. The certificate section is good for the middle school to grade school teachers that can hand out certificates to their students, letting them know that they are giving a great effort. So let's open up this one right here that says outstanding effort. Let's maximize it and let's get started. This part of Comic Life 3 gives teachers the opportunity to make a high quality certificate. These certificates can be handed out to their students for giving great effort, getting a good grade, etc. I know as a student, I always wanted to get these certificates as it always made me and my family proud. This is a great way to create the high quality certificates that you're looking for. To begin, you can go to the bottom section right here and click lettering and drag it to the line. Once you drag the lettering section to the line, you have the opportunity to change the name. For this, we're gonna use the name John Doe. Once you have the name typed up there, all you have to do is click enter and you got a cool font right there. If you did want to change the font, all you have to do is highlight this and change the font right there. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep it at this font. Okay, so following that, we can do the same thing we did for the name and do that for the date and signed. Take lettering again, drag it to a date. We can make this March 5th, 2017. And then we can take a letter again, put it to signed, and we can make this Mrs. Smith. But the opportunity to move these labels as there takes a little bit of time to do that as it is a little bit of a slow program, depending on your computer. You do have the opportunity to change the font if you'd like for any of these three by going to this drop down arrow, and you can change the italics. You can change the, the font size, et cetera, et cetera. As you can see, within just a few minutes, you have a great certificate to hand out to your students for giving great effort, having a good grade. Now, completing this, you will want to click Save right here, and then you can print them out or do many other things within these drop-down arrows. For now, I'm just going to minimize this, and we're going to go back to the template chooser. Okay, so the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create the comics. So you can create a comic, you can create a cover page, you can create an educational comic, you can do a how-to, a life story, just a single panel, etc., etc. For this, we're going to go ahead and go to education, and we're going to click on this one right here. The topic we're going to use is the life cycle of a butterfly, which can easily be presented through images, creating a good comic. Okay, so beginning off, you're going to want to change the title. We're going to make this title Life Cycle of a Butterfly. 
I'm gonna click enter, and as you can see, it's a little bit too big for the page. So what you're gonna wanna do is just squeeze it in there really quickly. And there you go, you have a good title that fits the page. Following that, we're gonna wanna click off the title. And as you can see, there's the album side over here. So this is all of my pictures on my computer. Now you can see we have some pictures of butterflies. We want to find the picture of the eggs. So right here, we have this picture of eggs. We can take this and drag it right here to this first box and let go. After you let go, the picture frames to the size of the box. Once your picture has been framed to the box, you have the option to enlarge it or make it a little bit smaller. For this, we're going to make it just perfectly fit the box. Next, we can simply click on the Your Words Here part, double click it, have it highlighted, and you can now change the words. We can have this say, wow, the first stage of a butterfly. And click Enter. There you go, you have your first caption for your first picture. Moving on to the next picture, we're going to go to the next stage of a butterfly, which is the caterpillar. So we have the option of these three pictures of caterpillars. We're going to go with this one, and do the same as we did before, drag it to the box, and there we go. We have our caterpillar. Now, here's a little speech bubble right here. We can move this towards the mouth a little bit. We'll go with right there, and we can change the words. We can say, why is it so bright out here? All right, so there's our second box. All right, so next we're gonna go on to the third stage of a butterfly, which is the cocoon stage. So we're gonna go through our pictures and find the cocoons, and there we are, we found it. We're gonna take it, drag it in there as we have prior, and with this one, we're going to make it a little bit bigger to focus on the cocoons. We'll move it around a little bit, just like that. And there we go. Next, we're gonna change the words. I already have this pasted so i'll paste it right in there the third stage of a butterfly the cocoon all right so we can change the speech bubble here or we could delete it we're going to use it though and we're going to say what is happening to me all right so we have a little bit of comic relief in there and let's move on to the last stage of a butterfly all right so now we finally get to move on to the final stage of a butterfly the actual butterfly so as you can see, this box doesn't really fit the page, at least for the final cycle of a butterfly. So we're going to want to change it up a little bit. What we can do, we can change the size of this, just so that our text does not get changed a little bit. And there we go. We can move it over a little bit. And what we're going to do, we're going to delete this, and we're going to copy, and then we're going to paste this one. We're going to drag it down there, make it a little bit bigger, and voila. Okay, so now that we've moved all our boxes around, we can see that this actually got a little bit too small. So what we can do, we can move it, and then we can make it a little bit bigger to show all the text. All right, so going over here, you can see that we don't need two caterpillars. So what we can do, we can take this picture... And delete it. We can take that, backspace it, and then this is behind it. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to bring forward and bring to front. And there we go, it's in front just as it was before. So now that we have everything situated, we can take our picture of the butterfly, drag it in there, stretch it to fit, and there you go, you have your picture of your butterfly. This, so we can delete that, and then we can edit this text, and we can just say, butterfly. And there we go, we now have our comic of the life cycle of a butterfly. I hope you guys enjoyed my short tutorial on Comic Life 3. Thank you for watching.